beats on the track. My bad y'all, I had to bring that gem back real quick, but what's up Simply Squad, it's your boy bored out of his mind grinding, and I'm guessing y'all can relate, cause why else would you click on a grinding DF video, right? Well if you are, don't worry about it, I got you, I'm gonna bore you even more. Now right off the back, I know what you're thinking, grinding, you are a genius, that looks exactly like James Harden, if James Harden looked like Peter MC. I'm not gonna lie to you, that wasn't on purpose, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how to change how my player looks. Don't you judge me, okay? Yeah, I've been bored this past couple weeks, so I've been binge watching Netflix. My IQ is at an all time low. I'm talking like an I'm Davis type of low. I low key might need to go back and return my high school diploma. I don't deserve this shit no more. You know what? Nah, I got an easy fix for this. Let's restart. What's up, Simply Squad, and welcome to How to Make Asian James Harden, whose number for some reason is 15. I could have committed a little bit more to this video probably, but it's whatever. Let's just get into this. First things first, the pie chart. You know, the thing that kind of looks like a representation of Avatar The Last Airbender if the elements were like earth, water, fire, and piss? Yeah, you're gonna wanna pick the one that's half piss, half earth, a little bit of fire and water, that one. That, that one's comp. Nah, seriously, when you think of James Harden, you think of his playmaking, his scoring ability, his speed, all of that. You really don't think about defense. I'm sorry, James Harden, you're my second favorite player of all time, but I'm just being honest here. You could also make the argument that you would add in finishing, because James Harden is a great finisher, but uh, 2K20, you can't really be a demigod, alright? I did the best I could, and I think y'all gonna like the result physical profile we are making a guard so obviously you want the fastest player so we're picking the one with the highest speed and we're gonna move on and now the fun part the attributes you see me go straight down to playmaking because the first thing I think of when I think of James Harden is his ability to ISO and create shots for himself half the playoffs for the Houston Rockets was just him on the wing just saucing up defenders Asian James Harden ain't no different except for the fact that I do upgrade defense here all right y'all didn't see nothing let's pretend like we didn't see this James this ain't a compliment you still gotta lock up next season after that i upgrade my shooting a little bit but then i started to think could i really get this man some finishing badges to make him more like james harden so i try to upgrade driving dunk all the way up and it literally gave me zero extra upgrades for finishing it didn't help me at all so i started to look around mess around with it a little bit and i found out that if i put more on defensive rebounding i get four extra defensive badges now again it's not exactly james harden but it will help make a more all-around build after i generously give Asian James Harden a couple points on defense I head up to the shooting max it out so I get my 22 shooting badges and after that it was all just about maximizing this build look it's no secret that this pie chart system is just an overhyped version of the old archetype system as of right now in the demo it's super limited they said they might add more pie charts in the full release we don't know if that's true yet but I'm not gonna lie to y'all us youtubers kind of sold we said we weren't gonna get hyped this year we said we weren't gonna buy into everything they tell us but that's exactly what we did look this pie chart system could turn out great i just want to see what they do with it in the full game but anyways while i was messing around i found out that my post moves doesn't need to be maxed for all my playmaking badges to stay so i lowered that a little bit and i put more on my driving dunk the reason i put on my driving dunk is one nothing else gave me badges i checked every single slot nothing else gave me badges and two because on 2k19 my dude always does layups i swear my dude trying to do a layup actually got me blocked in the ronnie 2k pro-am matchup thing that I did last video by the way go check that out now technically James Harden is six foot five in real life or at least he's listed at six five he might be even taller but I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret this is low-key just my point guard build for 2k20 I just need a good title y'all don't tell nobody all right this is gonna be my point guard well technically shooting guard but this can be my play sharp build for 2k20 I love this build I love how it feels I'm gonna show y'all some gameplay in a second but let's just get through this so I ended up choosing six four honestly it's just preference for me I like six four better plus I get that 86 
ball control right off the back. I did lowest weight so I could get my speed up. And then wingspan was hard for me because I love to play defense on 2K. I just do. I love being in the passing lanes, but at the same time, I need a high three-pointer and I need a high ball control, even higher than 86 just in case I get cold. So after messing with it a little bit, I decided on 77.9. I think that's the sweet spot for me and I just have a good feeling about it. Now, this is what I'm excited about on this build. I get four takeovers, slashing, sharpshooting, shot creating, and playmaking. And if it's true that you can switch your takeover between every game, this build is literally gonna be unlimited content for y'all. I can speed boost and I have access to all four of those takeovers. As y'all see, once you make the build, it says you've built an offensive threat. Similarities to James Harden, Pete Maravich, whatever. That's how I got the idea for the video, but honestly, those similarities don't even matter. Now, the badges, I cannot stress this enough. Do not take my badge choices too seriously here. I only chose these strictly for the demo. Like when the real game comes out and I'm playing against real people, I might make other choices. But right now to cheese the CPU warriors that try way too hard on defense, I'm doing all Hall of Fame shooting badges that can shoot over people's heads. Just to let y'all know what badges I have in the gameplay you're about to see, I chose Hall of Fame Deadeye, Hall of Fame Quick Draw, Hall of Fame Range Extender, Tireless Shooter, Difficult Shots, and Silver Pick and Popper. Now for shooting, even though I didn't pick the badges I'm gonna pick when the game actually comes out, I have a good idea of what badges I'm gonna choose. But playmaking, I am completely confused. I low key need y'all's help for playmaking. There is so many that I wanna choose, but only have 21 badge upgrades. In the comments, please try to help me out, y'all. I am mad confused about what I'm gonna do when the game drops. For the demo, just so I could cheese the CPU, I did Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, Handles for Day, Space Creator, Quick First Step, Tight Handles, and Silver Stop and Go. But I don't know, y'all. Am I gonna want Dimer or like Downhill or something? Maybe Needle Threader, Bela? I don't know, man. Y'all gotta help me in the comments, please. The five defensive badges were kind of hard as well, but I ended up doing gold intimidator so I don't get shot over and silver clamps so I could stay in front of people. And the one finishing badge, I did contact finisher on bronze. Now into some gameplay, bro. I love how this build feels. Now I know it's on pro difficulty. It's a demo. There's only like so much you can do, but just how it moves. I like how it is. Now in typical James Harden fashion, I wasn't playing any defense. I called a half court trap and I let my dude score on me every time. So don't mind the F teammate, Greg. I'm really starting to sound like I hate James Harden. James, I fucking love you. You're my second favorite player in the league right now. And I'm a Houston Rockets fan, okay? I've been tortured long enough. I'm allowed to rag on you a little bit. But y'all, I'm telling you, out of every build I've made in the demo, none of them felt as good as this player. My stretch doesn't feel anywhere near as good as this player. Now, that could just be because I fell off at stretch. Just kidding. I'm going to be a demigod first day. I'm actually starting off with my stretch this year. But this player just moves so fluently. The dribble moves, even though they are the worst signature styles in the world actually worked sometimes now again i know it's a demo it's not the full game but i'm gonna go off what they gave us and what they gave us was this demo all right so coming off of screens it felt really fast honestly i was getting enough space easily to get a green off even with the slow ass jump shot i had on i don't know if i'm cutting up clips here or not but i literally i think there was a time where i got six consecutive greens in a row and i didn't even know what jump shot i had on like i literally just pressed start without picking a jumper not all normal shots either sometimes i would drain my stamina down and then shoot just to see if that would work sometimes i'll do phase off the screen like i don't know this build is just godly but i'm sure you've heard that from every other youtuber this week you know what fuck a youtuber your friend billy probably told you his build is godly you know what all you billies let me know what your build is in the comments right now we're gonna find out who's the best all right the person with the most like comment that has a build in it gets a sub from me on their channel all right let's make it a competition let's see it for me my two builds starting out the builds that i'm gonna put vc into are my 611 and stretch big and this six foot four play sharp james harden build and i don't know about y'all but i just want my hands on the game bro these past two weeks have been the most boring weeks ever i even told y'all i wouldn't make a boring ass demo video like the rest of these youtubers but now i'm making a boring ass demo video because i am bored as hell there is nothing to do bro don't you dare judge me okay don't you dare go around being like oh shit grinding don't make funny videos no more he fell off no that is not true that is not true, okay? Drop a like on this video. You are mad entertained right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what I'm doing with this one, but hey, all right? If you weren't watching this video, you'd probably be on the couch watching some Netflix show you've seen 18 times in a row, all right? Nah, but for real, y'all, I'm just giving y'all more of a chance to see all the gameplay in the background. And at the same time, I need y'all to know that I'm doing one last 2K19 video that will drop Wednesday night. If you're still watching this video, you get the cheese for that video. The cheese is that if you watch that video, you have a chance 
chance to get NBA 2K20 from me. Okay, so basically how this is going to work is I'm doing a video where I'm challenging people to beat me two on one. If you beat me two on one with like a challenge, I'll explain that later. But if you beat me two on one, I will buy you NBA 2K20, right? But if I just did that, then where's the fun for the viewer? You know, the people in the game had a lot of fun. They're getting NBA 2K20 if they win. But where's the fun for y'all? Well, first of all, hopefully the video is fun for y'all. All right, I'm going to make it entertaining, I promise. But the second is I'm going to be putting random $25 Xbox One codes throughout the video. I'm going to put it for like half a second. So you're going to have to pause the video. You can't just like scroll through and cheese me. So yeah, man, I'll probably put $100 to $200 worth of codes throughout that video. Just to say thank y'all for showing me love this year, man. It's been amazing. And also to say thank you for making it through this video, which is probably the worst on my channel. So yeah, just do me a favor, y'all. If you stumbled across this video, go watch my last video. It's a longer, more entertaining video, a Pro-Am series against Ronnie2K himself. After you watch that video, then decide if you want to subscribe with notifications on, man. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope y'all make this build. I hope it works out for all of us. All right, we're going to see. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. I love you all. And as always, keep grinding. I can get you out of my mind, no. Said I think about you all at a time, yeah. Been imagining you all in my bed,